Okay, as you just saw, I got boots. So, I didn't purchase these. My dad and mom did. Um, partly as a, like a 16th birthday type of thing. Because I didn't really have a party or do much. But, I mean, I got a camera. So, that, that makes up for literally everything. But, so they got me these boots. Um, these were the original ones I set out to find. And when we went into Boot Barn... Um, one year, they were like, oh, if we don't have those, we only have them online. And we were like, well, we don't want to get them online, because what if they don't fit, what if they don't work, you know? And that's just a hassle. So, um, recently we've been looking, and we've like, I came down to three pairs of boots. This one, this one, and this one. And, so we went on, a, uh, like a venture to find these boots and we specifically went to boot barn the today because clara is getting glasses here's a photo isn't she so cute um so she got her glasses um and boot barn was right next door um so boot barn was right next door so i just went in and i was like well let's see what if they have any sure enough they had every boot i looked for in the store which is not right but they did so we decided to purchase them. Um, so we did. We got them. So coming along with these boots, um, they're a specific leather. So we got boot barn conditioner um, for them, which I still haven't. I have to use. And then we got water and stain repellent spray. And this stuff you have to be really careful with. So it's raining right now. So I'm going to condition them and then probably spray them tomorrow with water and stain repellent because it's going to be kind of difficult because you're you're supposed to do this outside so that way you don't get high or anything because there's a lot of restrictions so um i kind of just wanted to share that i got boots because i will forever and always now be wearing these um but all right starting this at the wrong time so these are the boots that i got and we are going to be doing this boot conditioner on them. So I'm going to do the stain spray today because it's actually nice and it's not raining a little bit, a little bit later so that way we can get these in pristine condition. Okay, so you just saw a time lapse. Um, this is the boot I have done. So this one is completely conditioned with the boot barn conditioner. And now I will be going into detail on how to do this one. Um, you just saw the time lapse of doing this one. So first we're going to start off with the top, this top part because this is the most important. Um, you're just going to take your conditioner and you're basically going to go like this and just kind of dab it on. And I use my middle finger. Um, it won't hurt your skin or anything. And you're just going to kind of rub it in. And you can tell that there is some difference in color. And that should dry up. So you're just going to kind of massage this in and make sure to go around the edges a lot because those will get dried out quite a bit. Um, go over embroidery. It'll help hold the embroidery together. So we just kind of massage it into your boot like so. Once it is all massaged into your boot, you're going to take a little rag and you're just going to buff it out a little. And this makes it look so it's not as shiny. Um, but like I said, it'll dry up anyways. And so you're just going to buff out every area that you, you dried. Okay, it is officially, let's see what time it is, um, 2.31. So um, it's been a few hours and I'm now going to spray them with, um, water and stain repellent. So I read all the instructions and basically you have to be eight inches away and spray the surface. You can't be around flames or anything like that. It's extremely flammable. We're not supposed to breathe it in or anything like that. So kind of very restrictive. So we're going to see how well this goes. So here is my boot. I don't know if you can see this. I'll just stay eight inches away. Oh, that one was close. Had to be careful because it can stain your color. 
Careful. I'm really trying to get the bottom.